here's a JW Davis amplifier. It looks like it's from 1972. This is the before repairs view of it. I just got this yesterday. I'd assume it's JW Davis. They're still making commercial sound equipment today. Look at the size of this output transformer. This, this thing ought to really provide good bass once I get it going. The output transformer is even bigger than the power supply transformer. And I've noticed like in Bogan amps, for instance, using 26L6, they've got kind of a puny output transformer. So this one ought to have some more oomph to it. Let's take a look underneath here. And it looks like we've got, as usual, bad electrolytic capacitors. Luckily, there's not too many caps in this amp. There's some ceramic, but here's the only paper, so we'll replace those. It's got fixed bias. Here's the bias diode. We'll replace that. There's the bias adjustment and uh, another electrolytic cap there. The weird thing on this is it looks like they ran the yellow filament leads to the 6L6 filaments and to the rest of the amp, and the green ones to the 5U4. Usually the yellow filament leads are the rectifier filament leads, and the green filament leads are the uh, amplifier, the 6-volt filament leads. So I better double check this out and make sure they're, they didn't actually send uh, 6 volts to the 5U4 tube. And there's one more electrolytic that we'll replace too. It came in this wooden cabinet and I don't know if this was, it looks kind of like an old radio cabinet that was maybe modified or something. But it's fallen apart so it'll have to be re-glued um, before we can put the amp back in it. It's got GE6L6GC in it, but unfortunately it looks like this one is bad. Uh, there's white dust inside of there instead of a silvery coating, which means that the vacuum has been breached. So I don't know what happened to that. I don't see any obvious, uh, any obvious damage on this, but I just have to see. It looks like there's some plate warping there. So it's possible that there was an overload in this and it just got so hot that it melted a pinhole through the glass. Hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully this whole amp isn't just toasted like the, the uh, output transformer and power transformer. It probably could come up with some replacements though if I really had to. So I'm um, uh, keeping my fingers crossed that there wasn't more severe damage when this looks like this tube just kind of melted. We'll check the other one. We'll, we'll double check these tubes before trying them out. I'm, I'm pretty sure that that one's bad. This one may not be, but it still looks like the plates are kind of melted. There's some mica damage up there and some plate separation there too. So I think it may be best to replace with new tubes and uh, check these for shorts.